we have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 here. And today I'm going to show you how to use one of their features called App Log, which lets you put a password behind one of the applications that you have installed on your device. There are a lot of people that like to compare Xiaomi with Samsung. Some do this because of their popularity, while others do this for their software. A lot of people think that both of these companies pack in as, mi as many features into their version of Android as possible. So for Xiaomi, that is MIUI. And a lot of people feel that MIUI is bloated. It comes with way too many features. And they're just not a fan of how the company has packed in all of these features when a lot of them for some people never are never used and other other features can be just downloaded from third party application stores and they feel there's no need to pre-install them on the phone the same thing can be said about Samsung but at the end of the, at the end of the day bloatware is a subjective term. So as long as the feature, and in my opinion, as long as the feature does not bog down the performance of the device, it's not that big of a deal for me. However, one of these features that some people would consider bloatware is what, what Xiaomi calls app lock. So to enable app lock, we first need to go ahead and open up the settings application. And we just need to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Settings application has a lot of stuff packed into it. As I said, a lot of people think this is way too much stuff. But a lot of people find these certain features very useful and very interesting. Down in the app settings section, you're going to see an option here called app lock. And we're just going to go ahead and tap on that. And that's going to give us a list of some of the applications that we have installed on our device. And as you can see, it doesn't matter if it's a pre-installed application from Xiaomi, like Mi Wallet, Notes, Messaging, Contacts, or Gallery, or if it's one of the other applications that we have installed from any source. It doesn't matter if it's the Mi App Store or if it's the Google Play Store. As I've shown you before, how to sideload and install the Google Play Store and Google Play services on this channel previously. Now once we have the App Blocks section open, we're going to need to want to go through here and select which application we want to put behind a password. And I'm just going to use the Solid Explore application as an example. It is my go-to file explorer. Now this could be used for any other application, say a gallery application. Maybe you don't want anybody who has that you hand your phone off to to be able to go through your pictures. So setting a password behind the gallery app is a good idea. So we just want to make sure that any application that we have a password set to has a blue check mark. And then we're just going to tap on the set password button. It's going to ask us for a pattern. And it's going to make sure that you have a me account added to the device just in case you need to reset your password in case you forgot it. Now if you wanted to, you could also use the fingerprint scanner to unlock these devices or unlock these applications. 
I also wanted to mention, as you saw, it prompted for a for me to set a pattern on the device. But if you want, you can tap the gear icon at the top right, and then tap the change password type option. And then we can either set it to a password or a PIN number if that's your preference. Again, we can also choose to unlock it with a fingerprint. And now, whenever we want to unlock and open up the Solid Explore application, we're going to get that prompt up to enter our pin pattern or password so that we have access to it. And you can go back through the Apple Lock section of the settings application and add or remove any applications that you want set behind a password. But that's it. That is how to lock an application behind a password using the app lock feature for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7.